Good afternoon, everybody. Would we please turn into our Rafe von William, please, that you have out in front of you? Um, and I would like everybody to take 30 seconds and read through the text. Did anybody else get something different from what they were reading? Hannah, how about you? Um, I got that the person was preparing to be bad. He was from the city, so he was wanting the person he loved. Okay. Awesome. So can I have everybody stand up, please? Heaven. Let me ask you something. Do you feel comfortable reading the thinner line? Sure. Okay. <coughs> right there. Do you feel comfortable reading the base line? Sure. Okay. Mm -hmm. Everybody else sing in some the part that's most comfortable for you. We are going to measure 48, which I know you don't have. It's page six. First measure, top of the page. You see that play I I. Yeah. Is everybody's part. All right. Yeah. We're gonna start in that next measure where everybody's saying am, except for the faces where you're saying oh. <laughs> <laughs> we are going to do our best to sight read from measure 49 well, as far as we possibly can. So we're starting on. The we're starting on am. Am. Okay. Am. Okay. Am. Let's do this on. Do. somebody paint something in music. What does that mean? It has some notes in the music. It sounds like it's basically describe 
the words and what the words do. Like, if you're saying C, like the ocean or whatever, then you have the music kind of feel like you're in the water. Katie, were you going to say something? Yeah, it, it sounds like what the word is saying. The music is representing. The music is representing what the, uh, what the words that are being sung are saying. So I'd like everybody to look at the um, words up here on the board. I know you can't see them because my piano is in the way. But there's words such as death. How do you think a composer would put death in music? Well, and we'll start really slow. Let's go. Let's go one at a time. First, Jessica. It'd be really like slow and sad. Sad. How would how do you how do you make music sad? Minor. Always in minor. Okay. Go ahead, Kevin. What are your, some of your ideas? Mozart's Requiem. Okay, that's Mozart's okay, piece. What if you're composing your own piece? We got Swark in this one. <laughs> I'm just saying, that's what I think about when like, this, this sound. Yeah. Okay. Interesting. So, there's a lot of different things you could do. You could put something in minor so you think it's sad. You could. You could say sad things with the words. You could say sad things with the words. You could, if something's very bright, if something's, if somebody's saying, this is the happiest day of my life, do you think it's going to be like, this is the happiest day of my life? Or do you think they're going to do that? <laughs> That's how I feel about music. You can take the stuff that you know about music, you can take things like fast tempos, or you can take things like major scales or chords, and you can have those reflect how, the, how you're feeling or what the text is actually trying to say. So, what we're going to do is we're going to break up into uh, voice parts really fast. Um, everybody is going to come up to the piano with me um, when I call you up, when I call your voice part up. And we're going to work on that little section that we just worked on in the music. And if you look at your piece of music, if you notice the word flowing, it's actually moving up and down like a water or a piece of water. Ooh, flowing. Yes. So, what I want you to do is from these sentences that we have up on the board, I would like you all to write an eight bar composition that reflects one of the texts here. The instructions are on paper. Um, can, is there a neighbor that can borrow one? You can borrow one from? Yeah. Of the words that are up here, compose something. Can I see the tenors up here while everybody else is working? In your music, please. Okay, guys. We're going to start in measure, same place to start on ham. And we're just going to read through it and play along with you, okay? Okay. This is your tempo. So, you go ahead. Do you know what that means?
Actually, if you want to keep 